because you are worth it. Hi ladies, I'm Key and I'm your personal fitness and motivation coach. And today we are going to be working this chair. All right, ladies, so today we are going to be learning the walk. So in order to do your walk, we want to make sure that we have confidence. Your shoulders back, we want to make sure that they are walking forward and your feet are planting, that you are either making a crisscross motion, like so, and you're actually touching your chair as you are walking around just to give you more stability. If you are a toddler girl, then you can use a little bend through your knees. So kind of like a bend and a lift, and a bend and a lift. And you just want to make sure you're gliding around. So as you saw, I did a turn. The way we're going to do this is we're going to walk, holding on to our chair again, we're going to cross our leg, pulling the leg through to cross, and continue to touch your chair as you come around. The movement should be slow, it should be sensual, and it should be flowy. Now we're going to do the head roll. So your head roll has four different parts. Where your chin wants to go down toward your neck, or toward the front of your body, I should say. And then over, so you're making like a circle. So you're trying to orbit around. Now, the points of your head that are hitting the sides, which we know we've done normal head rolls. So we're talking about the head roll, okay? So the head roll looks like we're taking our head and as we drop the chin down, we're dropping our ear to our shoulder and then the back of our head is going toward the back of our body and then the left ear is coming down toward our shoulder and then back down. And combine this with the walk. And we turned our chair dance up another notch. Ladies, let's talk about the sexy seat. Let's get our minds correct for this one first before we do it. Let's think about oozing. So just like when you're pouring something into a nice cup and it's gooey and it's flowy and it's pouring down and how it's just like running down nice and ooey and gooey and just mm. And it's so chocolatey good. Well, it's the same thing when we're doing a sit. We're oozing and our sit, we don't wanna just go straight down and plop, okay? We wanna add some substance to it. So this is where we add the slow motion sit. But with that comes like the back arch. That you might use your fingers, your hands to kind of touch a part of your body. That's gonna take your sit to the next level. So let's go over what that looks like. Open stance, we ooze. So everything goes nice and slow and down to sit. Do you remember how to ride a bike? If you do, let's try an air style. In the position of laying on the floor to start first, your bicycle and a chair is gonna be similar. The only thing is you have to make sure you balance yourself out and even yourself in a chair, otherwise it will topple over. And that's not sexy at all. So what we are going to do is practice on the floor first. We wanna get our palms on the floor, making sure we stabilize ourselves. Slide back a bit, and yes, this is going to be an awesome ab workout. So if you're struggling, that's okay, but just make it look sexy. So we're gonna bring our legs up in the air, and we're gonna act like we're riding a bicycle, and you're probably struggling if it's your first time, but they don't have to know that, so we're gonna do this to make it feel and look sexy. Now that your abs are screaming, we're going to bring those legs down, gonna fall over into your mermaid sit. This, you might have to rewind over and over and just practicing it until it feels amazing. But this is part of our routine. 
Let's just put the motions on it and let's go. Start with our ooze. And once you ooze, let's get to the tip of your chair here. So as we come down, so you're gonna round and come down, we wanna find our hand on the floor. So for me, I'm using my outside hand and that's the one that's closest to the mirror so that I can see. The back hand is gonna come back to support myself and hold on to the back of the top of your chair. You're gonna bring your knees in and as you see my body, I start to level out. So I'm not so heavy going backwards and I'm not leaning too far forward. So now my body is in a nice, equalized position so that I can now start to bicycle without leaning back into the chair and hurting myself. If you notice, I take my head back to make it look even more dramatic and pretty. We don't want to just have our head here, so watch that neck because <laughs> otherwise we're gonna look like crazy trying to hold our neck up. Release that neck. Now to come up, tuck those knees in, use your core, press up, press up, press up. And voila. It's time to get our heels in our chairs, ladies. So we're gonna walk behind the back of our chairs and we're gonna get lined up at an angle. So not straight ahead, but to the side. So we're gonna take the preference, the side of preference, and work from there. The leg that's closest to your chair, that's the leg that's gonna come up and sweep around and into your chair but you're gonna take the hand that's closest to that leg and press down into the chair or onto the back of the chair to keep it stable. So again, we're at an angle, we sweep up and into your chair. Let's try that on the other side. Turn to the side angle, sweep up and get the heel in the chair. Now from there, we wanna touch the legs. So we're gonna kind of arch our body forward, giving that Leg a touch and bring it back up. And all of this is balanced as well. So if you need to hold on to the chair with one of your hands as you trace down with the other, that's perfectly fine. It's still pretty and it'll also stabilize you. practicing and perfecting your heel in your chair. It'll get easier every time you practice it. So have a little grace and make sure you have a mirror to look in to make sure you like your line. Great job. So ladies, it's time to put the pieces together. And the glue that holds the pieces together is the body touch. And talking about the body touch, what we mean is exactly what it sounds like. It's touching the body. As you take your fingertips, you're just thinking about where you would like to bring care to your body and just allow your fingers to explore. So in doing so, even if you don't know how to dance at all, this is a nice technique to help you get more acclimated with loving on yourself and also giving you something to do besides just walking around with your hands kind of hanging at your side as you move around a chair. As you begin to do so, we're gonna do it together. And we're gonna put the music on and just let you kind of go for it. And after, we're gonna put the routine together. So it's time to put it all together. Let's go through all six of the movements that we just learned.
Thanks so much for joining me for this chair dance routine. We'll have new routines coming up in the future and hopefully you were able to see our last video. Give us more comments and subscribe, like the channel, let us know how we're doing. We wanna bring you more and we look forward to it. To the next one, have a good one. Bye-bye.